Hi, I'm Neil of Team Teacher, teaching, living and raising a family in China. In this video, we're looking at a sports PowerPoint lesson. Let's check it out. As always, I begin my classes with the rules slide, uh, where we go over the rules and uh, I advise students if they follow the rules, then we will do a reward at the end of the class. So this particular lesson is about sports and it's aimed at the middle grades for primary and elementary schools in China. So a lot of the sports in this particular PowerPoint lesson haven't been introduced to the students so they might not be aware of them um, and, or they might not even know their English words. Uh, so I've, what I've done is I've actually included the, the Chinese word for it as well. Football. And I go through all these different uh, sports and I uh, get them to drill and repeat the pronunciation. I'm also going to be asking them questions about what they know about the different sports, you know, what you use to play it, what you do, what are the rules, etc. With ping pong as well, uh, I do say that we can also call table tennis ping pong, um, which is the same in, in both English and in Chinese. We, we do use the Chinese word. So we'll go through all those different sports and then I'm going to ask them what they like playing. And I'll say I like playing blah blah blah. And I'm going to get them to throw the question out to the class and get a couple of different students to tell me what they like to play, what they like playing. And then to break up the class and all that drilling, we are going to go into a, saw, a video about guessing the sport. So this one, uh, there's going to be sports happening on the screen and the students have to remember what the sport was and to be able to guess it. And now we're looking at um, introducing a structure along with the vocabulary and I want to be using the ing structure. So what do I like playing? And they have to tell me. And they have to use the full sentence, I like playing blah blah blah. And we go through all of these different ones and then we're going to go on to a guessing game but it's a listening guessing game. What kind of sports do you do? So listen and they have to tell me what sport is that from the sound that they're doing. Golf. <laughs> and we go through a whole bunch of different sports here. And then we're going to do another game, uh, another video uh, that they can sing along to that's focusing on the sports balls because that's one thing that I think really helps them is to know that if you put uh, a noun or a sport with a ball you can actually make uh, the name of the sport. And then we're going to go into a description activity. So this one I'm describing what happens with the sport. So this one I'm talking about um, it being an orange ball and people are tall, it's going to be basketball. And here I have a couple of different choices. Uh, towards the end of the lesson. There's an interactive whiteboard game that's uh, on this link that's great. There's also this which is a, a sports memory game. So how it works, they give you grid coordinates and they have to match the word to the picture of the correct sport. Or you can do charades. So have the students come up, act out the different sports and then the other students have to um, call out what she or he is playing or likes playing. And that's the end of the video. If you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. And remember to check out the link below to download your free copy of the PowerPoint lesson. Bye bye.